What's going on, everyone? I fucking passed out last night. Oh, I already did a video this morning. Well, I passed out last night after I got a workout in, or I got a workout in two days ago, and I was passed out. I guess I was tired from it. So I had to do that coding shit, which I'm... Look, I don't want to go into it, and I'm not trying to, like, piss on anyone's foot or, like, step on anyone's toes, but, like, I actually accidentally did a whole bunch of shit. And if some of the people I'm supposed to, like, sync up with to, like, do so the, the, the next steps are still, like, doing their shit. And I was like, oh, oops. And then I remember the time that I accidentally solved, like, a problem that people were trying to solve for, like, weeks in, like, 45 seconds. And then they everyone got mad at me because then, like, they couldn't justify all the bullet. So I, long and short, I'm just chilling the fuck out and hanging out right now. But let's just hold off on that. All right. So anyways, um, so this morning, so this morning, it's not trolling. I was just teasing her a little bit in a, like a funny way. So Laquan, plus she's wearing some kind of a funny ring uh, on her ring finger. So uh, like, again, like I've fooled around with bitches who like, uh, all that stuff, always, they were the ones who hit on me first. So, look, Quan is pretty uh, cute. She's pretty cool. And if she wants to slide in my DMs the same way that Tiffany did, I will consider it. But even though we're still arguing and all that bullshit, uh, I guess you could consider it. I'm in a long distance. C Cookie Light is like, I, I see what you're doing. I'm in a long distance, whatever the fuck with Tiffany, I guess you could consider it. We're still, like, I'm good, look, again, I'm doing, like, whatever you want to call it. It's like, remember that time when I said, like, if you don't do it, it's worse than if you do, because at least if you do it, it's like, well, it was your fault, because you're the one who made me do it, and all that bullshit. Uh, it's kind of sort of like that. But, uh, I also think it's coordinated. I think Tiffany and Priscilla Kwan probably would be in like texting each other and be like, why don't you go to DC and see what he does? Oh, I have to go to Korea to do some shit. Uh, I've never dated a model, actress, singer, producer, bullshit. And like, she's, that stupid song she made, that stupid fucking twatty fucking prancy fancy is being sung today look remember when I said uh, okay so I, I'll just say it the way it's in my head when when Jeff Smith beat Dominique Valera which was in like 1979 so I know it's old news right but uh, uh, I remember specifically what, what they did not do was go, ha, you suck, you short motherfucker, I knocked you out, you fucking tapped out, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you all suck, fuck you. No, they said, good match, thank you very much, uh, I can't wait to fight my next opponent. The reason why they did that, as opposed to telling everyone off, is because there used to be a thing called being a good sportsman, right? You don't want to affect anyone's bottom line. That's how you pay your bills. That's how you feed your family. That's how you pay your rent. All that bullshit, right? The dollar. Money. Especially with inflation and all that bullshit. So. Because what it is, is Dominique Valera, because he was a five times world champion, and here comes some fucking giant from Texas who knocks this motherfucker out. See, the whole trick was what they trained, because what it was, I shouldn't, it's like old fucking sports memorabilia bullshit, but Olympia boxing basically started because uh, Grandmaster, rest in peace, Grandmaster Junri, um, uh, of Taekwondo fame and all that bullshit, he was training a kickboxer named Jeff Smith. But Taekwondo ain't really good with hands, right? And um, Coach Jones was training a middleweight uh, named um, Mike Baker. And those two fuckers started sparring. And what they came up on the conclusion was, 
if you're in kickboxing, especially American shit, like it kind of sort of works in Muay Thai, but they throw elbows and knees, so you have to like mix it up and do other shit. But basically, most of what boxing is is just endurance and pain uh, tolerance and throwing punches, right? So like you do that shit where they like throw the medicine balls, like 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 ready to protect, right? Like all that bullshit. And you have all these drills. Like, dude, coach used to, like, you would be, like, hitting the bag or, like, doing the drills. And he would just come by with a stick and, like, hit you and shit like that. Uh, and you had to just take it. And then, like, some, some motherfucker apparently complained, like, after I left and all that bullshit. And when I came back, he was like, yeah, I have to do one of these things now or they're going to sue me again. And it was, like, one of those, like, soft pad thingies. Dude, that fucking hurt. Cause I was like hitting the bag, and all of a sudden, like whack! And I was like, he's like, you he's like, you would think you're gonna see every punch that hits you? And I'm like, so I started hitting the bag again, whack! And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that place was awesome. Anyways, so they trained Jeff Smith on fists, cause you can just swat the kicks away, basically, and then punch them. Is what it is. So that that's that that's how he won. Yeah, cause and also with your hands up, you're in a better position to protect from a kick. Cause Dominique Valera's like big show finishing, show stopping move was he had a triple kick. It was like a left, a left, and then like a reverse, and it was all to the midsection. Cause if you can't breathe, you can't fight. But if you watch the fight, Jeff Smith blocked every single one of those, and then he retaliated. So um, that's why you want to start with your legs and finish with your fists, because you can always just throw some bullshit kicks and then like catch it and counter. But anyways, so, um, but yeah, no, at the time, and even still now, look up Dominique Blair, the motherfuckers, motherfuckers got like a, his whole business is, uh, 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 karate schools or kickboxing, whatever the fucking dojo motherfucking, here's your belt and checked in and bounce, whatever the fuck. And then they're, they're good at it. They, they compete, but you know that it's for every hundred fighters that come in, only like fucking handful of them are fucking worth a damn, right? Other ones are just fucking trying to like impress the people at the writing class or who gives a fuck, right? They're just background noise. I hate to say it, there's background noise. So, you know, like that's kind of how you make your money though on the background noise. So, yeah. And like even to this day, if you look up Dominique Valera, they have like a highlight accomplishments and whatnot. They, they, they have like a split second of him in the ring with Jeff Smith and then like all the other shit he's done. <laughs> so like, I get it I get that like you all need to make money and all that bullshit so I don't want to step on anyone's toes and blow anyone's shit up because you're just trying to make money I just don't want to be made m you making money at my expense now this, this fucking cuntologist from Servington has yet to explain it all once I once I found out that that fucking douchey fucking... No, when I said... I don't want to get, get into it because there really are fucking crazy handshake clubs out there where you have to, like, do shit, like, fucking donkey or whatever the fuck to, like, join. And the motherfucking douchey loser that the Witch's Coven wrote an article about who I found out is involved in K-pop who probably did end up stealing from a child would probably do something like fuck a donkey to join a club. Holy shit. There's a joke, and then there's taking the joke too far, and that's the exactly kind of motherfucker who would take that shit too far. That's all I am saying. We will find out. But if it's... I told you that L.A. had Mormons and other shits get involved in K-pop music, because back in 2001, uh, this fine-ass Korean bitch I was spitting game at... Uh, she was talking about how, like... No, nah, because they were touring the temple... For they start off with religion. They build that base. Uh, they were touring the temples. That's where I met him. I met him at a temple. She was really cute. She was doing some like orchestra piano y shit. Anyways. So, um, look. I don't want to make waves. I just don't want to be the one left holding the bag. So she, if she was the guilty party, she would be arrested by now. 
her, her if her crypto account is shut down the crypto.com account is shut down it's because she was some kind of a victim and that's just what they do to shit like that so we'll just take it one step at a time i understand that she has to work i'm not trying to be a douchebag she could have let me know she still could let me know but there might be an NDA involved, like, and they might have her on some super crazy one where her just like talking to me through her burner accounts is like, they're like, you are breaking it still and all that bullshit. So I'm not trying to get her in trouble. I don't want her to lose endorsements. Fucking no. Right. But I still have the ouch. Fucking something like popped in my ear. I still have to figure out what happened to all that fucking money. At least my niece's goddamn paid back is all I really give a fuck. And it's not even that I it's not even that much fucking money. That's what blows my fucking mind. It's like that's not even, it's not even that much money. Like I would Good luck with your Italian fucking thingy. Don't make me regret doing this. I'm not Look, I, oh, people always tell me that, like, ever since I was a kid, they were, like, always putting me in, like, advanced classes, and I actually didn't like it because I got into a lot of fights that way. But then, um, supposedly, like, my brain can work really fast sometimes. So, like, she'll just say something, and sometimes I'm just, like, woodchuck guidebooking it, and I'm, like, pulling from different sources, and sometimes I'll just, like, feel like saying something nice to her, and she'll really like it. So I'm not particularly going out of my way to do it, and I really don't give a shit if I'm using Instagram wrong. I don't give a fuck about what apps for teens do. I know that if I tag her in photos... She doesn't, you know, she calms down a little bit and all that bullshit. And if I can't tag her in photos and I don't make a big stink about it, she'll make a big stink about it. And then I'll have to do things I don't want to do. But, yeah, what do you want me to say? I went to her New York thingy, didn't I? So technically, someone defined me a long-distance relationship where you don't go more than a few months seeing each other. It could have gotten better, but we did get a lot of things off of our chests at each other. So, look, I don't give a fuck if Priscilla Kwan is in D.C. or not. Uh, last time I checked, me and Tiffany still have unfinished business. And until that bitch uh, does what she says or whatever the fuck, I don't know. I'm not going into it, all right? Like, there's a lot of moving parts. But I'm more concerned with finding out what happened to the dough why Tiffany's involved in this bullshit and what else she's involved with is she feels a need to, you don't understand since, since the day I met her, she's six years ago, she's been involved in some bullshit and she's always needed. <sighs> Let's just say she definitely plays the damsel in distress trope extremely well. Let's just say that. So, yes, dear. LDR still on. Just, you really know how to push my buttons. And I guarantee you this whole thing, Priscilla Kwan in DC, is planned out. I guarantee to you. It's fucking Wednesday. I'm an adult. I have shit to do. I'll play Pasha Young afterwards and all that bullshit. And if Priscilla Kwan wants to get lunch and she wants to do an interview and all that bullshit, I'm an adult. I can do it without getting my fingers wet and all that bullshit. I can be, you know, like, I appreciate your videos and all that bullshit. I just not worth the headache. Now, uh, if I find out that Tiffany's been wasting my time with this horse shit, which, why, again, why would you waste six years of my time? But just, I... I feel like I'm on the scent to whatever the fuck it was that fucked with my niece. So I honestly just view Priscilla Kwan coming to DC as a distraction from that. When that shit is done, I would love nothing more. Than the, I'll take it to Fuddruckers. I'll take it to the uh, Barnum and Bailey, whatever the fuck. Cirque de Soleil is probably coming back to town soon. But 
I've said this before and I said this again. My niece is going to come first because if anything ever happens to anyone, I'm the one who gets custody of her. I'm basically her, uh, uh, I'm her backup plan. Like if, if something was to go wrong and everyone in the family on her side of the family was to like, if, if like, you know, family units, like if, if the family unit got taken out, she would come to me, whatever the fuck that's called. Right. So like, I have to make sure that she's taken care of. So it's not enough that her money has been returned by me. It, I have to like, whatever the fuck it was that like that has to go down like that ha like it's been injured it's on the run but there's a trail leading to it and from what i understand whoever the fuck it was that that douchey loser it, again it could be nothing but that douchey loser apparently had 15 million dollars or some shit like that and some kind of a stock and they're liquidating it at a loss right now so all i know is that Remember when I gave that little speech about, like, uh, I'm an artificer and I can one-shot things all the time? Yeah, I didn't get, like, I didn't even get a decent hit on it. But I got a hit on it. So something got hit. And something's on the run. And something's got a trail leading to it. So when that's done, we'll talk about the other bullshit. But until then, I'm busy. So if you want to slide to my DMs and you want to, like, invite me to something or interview for something sure you know like i'm an adult i can do that now if you throw it at me i'll probably take it because you're hot something tells me though that you and her are like up to something and i'm not gonna take the bait because not even about you two about my niece it's fucking 10 years old and some douchebag out there thought that they could get away with some bullshit by targeting a 10 year old and that fucking cult bullshit I was telling you that does all that creepy, creepy weirdo shit. The, the, the human veal cult, their obsession is with hurting children. So we're not going to play that game with my niece. Someone crossed the line and either Tiffany was involved in it or used as a, as a bait or whatever the fuck. So that is what's going to happen right now, dear. And when I find out what happens with that, then I'll make other decisions. But basically, like, I'm fucking... I'm, Focused. I'm hyper focused on whatever the fuck this shit is. It's not gonna go away. Like we're gonna get some kind of like answer to it, and then we will see. Have a nice day.